Hey guys, in this video we are going to use StatCrunch to find the equation of a regression line. We'll use this problem here as an example. Um, always make sure you read the problem nice and thoroughly before you start. So, set a good example. We'll do that. It says the accompanying data are the number of wins and earned run averages. Mean number of earned runs allowed per nine inning pitch. Oh, this is about baseball. Oh, I don't know anything about baseball. Oh well, thankfully I don't need to to do the math. Um, this is for eight baseball pitchers in a recent season. Find the equation of the regression line, then construct a scatter plot of the data and draw the regression line. Then use the regression line equation to predict the value of y for each of the given x values, if meaningful. If the x value is not meaningful, to, uh, to predict the value of y, explain why not. So, first thing we're going to do is, let's open up the table that they give us. So here are the wins and earn run average. I don't know what that means, but... I don't have to, because all I gotta do is open in StatCrunch. We are going to, they first ask us to find the equation of the regression line. So we're gonna go to Stat, Regression, Simple Linear, select your X, and they have very kindly labeled X for us. Select your Y, and you can leave everything else alone. Just select the X and Y, and hit Compute. And it's gonna give you a lot of information um, so, uh, so it sort of up here it summarizes what you put in. So dependent variable is this, independent is this, gives you the sample size, it gives you the correlation coefficient, which is nice. Right, right in here is where they actually give you the formula, y equals, in this case, 6.347 blah, 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 minus that. Uh, and that can be a, a little, uh, this squash of information here can be a little overwhelming. So they do actually write it down here as well. They give you the intercept separately and the slope separately. And I'm going to use those instead of this information up here. They're the they're same numbers. You can see intercept, same number as right here. And the slope, right here, right there. Same as right here. So it really doesn't matter where you take it from. I prefer to take it from this table because it's just a little easier for me to see and I get a little less overwhelmed by all the numbers. Yes, it's true. Math tutors do sometimes get overwhelmed by numbers. Um, so they first they first asked for, in, in the box here, they want the slope. Slope is the number that's attached to x, and because my answer box has an x after it, I need the slope first. And this has rounded two decimal places, so this is my slope. And if I round to two decimal places, I get negative 0 0.18. I must keep the negative. And then my intercept, so it will come next. If I round that one, it's going to be 6.35. So that should be the equation of my regression line. And then they want me to make a scatter plot. And you see how over here on StatCrunch says one of two? That means page one of two. You can use the arrow over here to get to the next page, which shows you a nice scatter plot. Now the axes are, are different. This has 0 to 24. Actually, they all have 0 to 24. And mine is, is 10 to 20. So you could, if you feel comfortable with this graph as it is, and you can tell right away which one matches up, go for it. Or if you want to, you can actually adjust the scale of the axis so it matches up better with what you're given for your homework. So if you do want to change that up, you just click on these little three, three lines here. We're going to change, let's start with the x-axis. The minimum that they have um, for the different options is zero, so click the zero in. And the maximum they have is 24. And it's labeled as wins. So that's fine. I'll just change those numbers and leave the rest. Oh, that looks a lot different now. And I'll go ahead and I'll change the y-axis too. The y-axis is a lot closer to what it was. This goes from, from 0 to 5, and this one goes from 0 to 6. So it's not much different, but I'm going to change it um, just in case. So our, our minimum is going to be 0, and our maximum is going to be 6. I guess it didn't go from 0 to 5. Now it goes from 0 to 6. So now this still matches up a lot better with the graphs that they have given us. And it's much easier for me to see. See, looks like the correct graph. So then the next questions require us to use the equation to, to calculate uh, to poss possible, values of, uh, possible values of y. So I'm going to go back, close this out, look at my data set. And, and I'm really just going to use a regular calculator for this, but I do want to give some notes on how to do this process. First, 
the x value they give you needs to be meaningful. So the numbers we have here range from 9 to 20. So something above 20 or below 9 wouldn't be very meaningful. And the first number they asked me to use is 5. That's below 9. So I'm going to say it is not meaningful to predict this value of y because x equals 5 is well outside the original the range of the original data. It doesn't have to actually be in there. It just has to be within the bounds, and 5 is not. So we'll skip that one. But the next one we can do because they said 10. Now 10 is not one of the numbers, but 10 is between 9 and 20, so it's safe to use. And so what they want me to do is just grab a calculator. A regular scientific calculator is just fine. And I'm going to take my, my equation here, and I'm going to replace x with, for this one, a 10. So I'm going to take negative 0 0.18 times 10 plus the 6.35. And I get 4.55. Found our two decimal places as needed. It already is. 4.55. So this is how you can use StatCrunch to find the equation of a regression line as well as a scatter plot. And we did also have the, um, let me bring it back up. We also have the correlation coefficient in there, which we did a little bit more in 9.1, but if you needed it in 9.2, it still still brings it up correlation coefficient right in here, right there. So you should be all set.